Alright, what's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be going over the Supreme Week 1 drop list. Obviously this is already dropped in store in London I believe and for America, USA, um, it drops online on August 24th. So really I'm going to get this video out as early as I can because we already know all the items. So I might as well get the video out there for you guys to see it. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you are new, please subscribe. It'd be highly appreciated. Do a lot of content like this, sneaker stuff, vlogs. Um, all the stuff is revolving around like hypey stuff, sneakers, streetwear. So if you're into that, please subscribe. And also don't forget to drop a like in this video issue for 15 likes on um, that'd be amazing you guys support toys awesome um obviously you guys have just shown incredible love on the channel lately and i really can't thank you all enough for that um anyways though i'm gonna get straight into this video drop a comment below tell me what you think about any of these items tell me what you want to cop uh online if you're still in the u.s or if you cop something in store in london go ahead and tell me what you got and i'd like to hear it so anyways i'm gonna get straight into this video um i know it didn't drop just in london i know it dropped in like paris too and other cities throughout europe so i hope you guys uh, cop something nice if you were there um anyways don't forget to drop that down below in the comments and let's get straight into the video all right so the first tee i'd like to go over um been so much discussion over this tee for the last couple months coming week one we have the nasty nas tee and obviously a lot of people are looking forward to this tee the retail is going to be 44 dollars in it um obviously it's already released in store so if you guys copped it i'd like to know how many colorways there are um i believe there is i'm looking right here i believe there's seven colorways tell me if i get this right um we have a white colorway a black colorway this is the one that like i've seen pictures uh, seen pictures of and seen people wearing so I know they have a black colorway um heather a sort of like a heather gray colorway a pale blue a red a brown and a lime hopefully I'm right with those colorways I believe you have seven of them right there so it looks like we just have the normal photo tee six to eight colorways usually sometimes seven so that seems to what we have for, for the nasty and obviously I'm not sure if I'm gonna cop it um I really gotta see obviously I have listened to his music before I'm not dumb I have so people are gonna say oh you've probably never listened to one of his songs trust me I have you just gotta listen to me there I can name a couple if you want me to in the comments just go ahead i've listened to plenty of the songs to understand that i know the meaning of some of them and he's definitely a great storytelling rapper like that's definitely something he's really good at that's like I, i've listened to a lot of storytelling rappers like i know like joiner lucas j cole um he obviously he's sort of like in my opinion where it all started eminem um those are definitely four rappers in my opinion that are really good at this storytelling thing um obviously then you have rappers nowadays like little yachty little uzi little whatever the heck it is honestly and just they're not really good story tellers you know what i mean it's all the same stuff so i've listened to his music i'm not dumb i understand it but enough talking about that we're not talking about rappers johnny that we're talking about supreme so let's move on to the next item all right, the next T I would like to discuss is the dollar T. Now I know we do have seven color and eight colors for this T, I believe. Here they are. We have a white colorway, a black colorway, heather gray. Um, we have a nay colorway. Not sure what that is. Um, red, lime, brown, and bright orange. Now obviously I think the most type colorways are brown and black. Um, I've seen a lot of people pictured wearing those, and I haven't really seen too many of the other ones. I've seen the lime colorway once, but aside from all that, basically if you're trying to cop this T for resale. Um, I'm not really sure like this week if you're trying to cop stuff for resale I'd say more or less just wear it because week one usually isn't like anything crazy with resale like, Obviously Supreme has to build hype out through throughout the season So for week one, I just say cop it to wear it honestly like I, that's what I'm doing this week Like I may cop something for someone and then sell it to them if they ask me to But more or less I'm just gonna cop because that's really what this week is like this week one Don't sleep in it. You got like Scarface. Um, obviously you have the nasty nasty tea. Um, that's that's pretty fire I'm glad that it's dropping week one um, hopefully the Supreme is able to hold this really hype throughout the season um, obviously for the retail on this tee $34 in store so and to add $10 for shipping it is $44 online so pretty good deal I say if you want this tee I think it looks pretty nice um, something unique and cool obviously I think you can guys can see you have George Washington putting his hand over his face like that um, something unique and cool there so let's move on to the next item all right, the next item I'll be going over is this Scarface denim jacket. Here's a picture of it. You guys can see Sean Pablo. Thank you for everyone to help me, by the way, figure out who this guy is. Um, very helpful, so thank you all. You guys can see Sean Pablo pictured right there show, wearing the Scarface denim jacket. Um, there's a bunch of angles in it, and obviously you guys can see what it says on there. Maybe, if you can't, it says the world is yours, I believe. So the world is yours Scarface denim jacket. Very hyped item. A lot of people are saying, oh, this is the best item we've seen so far throughout the whole season, the lookbook. And you know what? I think it's agreeable. Um, I'm not really sure. I've to really see what time they start dropping items because for right now i think this item definitely ranks up there um very clean item retail $328 add $10 for shipping online so $338 online $328 in store i believe so pretty cool item i've seen a lot of people pictured wearing it um there's really just a lot of hype around it and i'd expect this item to sell out decently quick the price isn't like insane 
Um, I'd say it's fine, but obviously like $300 is a lot. So if you're willing to cop this for that much, go ahead. It's a great item. Uh, reselling this, I'm not sure. It's a denim jacket, really have to see. But pretty good item, I'd say. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next item I'll be discussing is the Supreme Zippo Diamond Cut Lighter. So here's a picture of it. Um, $60 is really what I've seen retail prices on. So $60 is what people are thinking. Um, for shipping, I believe it's still $10 for Supreme. Um, so I believe it's still $70 online. So if you want to cop this um, as an accessory or something, you guys have that you guys can use. Um, basically, you have that item. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy right there. Um, unique because you guys can see you have a little supreme right there and that looks sort of cool on the sort of diamond cut pattern pretty nice item i'd say um definitely a dope accessory like if you want to use this like put up in your room somewhere like if you're creating like a supreme shelf this is definitely something cool you could add to it so definitely a cool accessory i'd say that they're dropping something neat um i know this is not anything too crazy like i know they dropped stuff like this before but a lot of people are excited about it it's a cool week one item um or accessory really so Let's move on. All right, the next item I will be discussing is the patchwork hoodie. Um, also the sweatpants with it. So basically, on the sweatpants, here is a picture of all of them. We have three colorways for the sweatpants. Obviously, the retail on all of these is 188, no, 168 dollars for the sweatpants, and basically you just add 10 dollars for online. So there you have it. That'd be 178 dollars online. Um, pretty sick colorways that's there for the sweatpants. My favorite one is that one right there in the center. You guys can see that was really the first one we had a picture um, where we saw a person wearing the full outfit. This color is very dope moving on to the hoodies we have two colorways for the hoodies here's a picture of one of them i'll discuss this one first this is like one of the first items we had leaked that we really saw a uh, very clean item i think looks very nice retail 188 dollars at 10 dollars for online pretty simple you guys can do the math for that 198 dollars um obviously it's sort of expensive but we really have to see what the quality is um there's a lot of hype around it people think it's a pretty cool item um on a scale of like how unique it is uh i'd say it's pretty unique i haven't i haven't seen too much like this before and then obviously for the other colorway the other color is less vibrant, but it looks just as nice in my opinion. Uh, here's a picture of someone wearing it right there. Um, pretty clean outfit, I'd say, right there. Obviously, you guys can see the patchwork hoodie looks pretty good in person also. Uh, both the colors for them, uh, they're just, they look nice. So, really been going into it. This whole patchwork collection we have, pretty nice. Uh, so, let's move on. All right, the next item I'd like to go over is the taped seam jacket. Here's a picture of it. Retail on $298. Um, obviously, for buying online, just, you know what to do for that. $308 online, $10 more. But basically, really been going over this item. I'd say it's pretty clean. As you guys can see, here's really a picture you see a guy wearing it right there. Um, I'd say it's pretty clean, but obviously for the retail price, I'm not sure if it's worth it because on the scale of like how unique it is, I've seen stuff like this before. Um, but what makes this item sort of cool and why people are even interested in it? It's because you got two sort of mini Supreme box logos going here and here in the upper chest area. Um, I think that looks sort of cool, but then again, I mean like in terms of originality and then price, like is it really worth it? I'm not sure. I wouldn't say it really is in my opinion. So if you want to cop this item, go ahead. I'm not sure how many colorways there are. I've only seen one picture. I've only seen the black colorway so far, but I'm sure there'll be many more colorways. Um, obviously this video is being released earlier, so. We don't really have all the full colorways yet, um, but basically that's the only one I know of. Probably three to four colorways expected, maybe two uh, if it's a really limited item. That would actually make it valuable though. If it had like a limited one colorway, then that would make sense of why it's priced so highly, but really been getting into it. Pretty clean item, so let's move on. All right, the next item I'd like to go over is the Gons Ram Varsity Jacket. Obviously, you guys probably know what Gons Ram is, but really been getting into it. We have two colorways for the Varsity Jacket that I've seen so far. Um, I'm not sure how many of will be, but here's a picture of Gully Guy Leo wearing the red one right there. Um, obviously, you see that's pretty clean. Um, in terms of retail for it, $398, so that's pretty pricey. Add $10 online, $408. So I'm not really sure if a $400 Varsity Jacket is something I want to cop. Obviously, it is clean. Yes, Gons Ram, I get it. Um, I'm not sure how many colorways there are, though. I only know about the black and red colorway here's the black colorway right there that also looks pretty clean um, both the colorways look really nice, but really when getting into it, I'm not sure $408 for a varsity jacket is something I really want to do. Unless the item is very limited and like they'll never do this again, then that would make a lot of sense right there. But when getting into it, I'm not sure if it's necessarily worth it in my opinion. Relief to see, but cool item, clean item. A lot of people like it so far. Um, I'm not going to spend over $400 in a varsity jacket. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, if you guys are, that's cool. Um, if you guys have any information you want to say about any of these items, go ahead and type down below in the comments. It's always helpful for other people but when getting into it cool item not bad at all so let's move on all right another item i'd like to go over is the sog collapsible shovel now here's a picture of it um pretty odd item again if you're into supreme accessories this item is only going to cost 38 dollars um way cheaper than the zippo so if you want this item to cop it to really use an accessory 
Um, that's cool. Obviously, it'd be sort of funny if you actually used it. Um, I'd like to see that. But basically, when getting into it, just add ten dollars online, you got forty-eight dollars. Um, one colorway, just a red one. Pretty basic item. Um, a lot of people are hyped about this because it's a weird and unique accessory. Um, that's really the only reason accessories get any hype is when they're weird or really something unique that we haven't really seen before. So a shovel, especially like a collapsible shovel, pretty cool, interesting item I haven't really seen before. But when really getting into it, if you want to cop this to add to like a Supreme shelf you have or something, go ahead. Great item, item to, in my opinion, to really cop. So if you want to buy that, go ahead. So let's move on. All right, so I obviously have to add a skate deck to this whole discussion. So a really another skate deck I'd like to add to really sum up this, the final item, the Gons Ram skate deck. So here's a picture of it. Obviously retailing this item is going to be $49. $59 online, pretty simple right there, but really in getting into it, I like this item because it's simple, yet it has a lot of creativity to it, and obviously I feel like this skate deck will have a lot of value in the future because when Gon's Ram goes away from Supreme and they stop sort of doing collabs with him, these will all have really value in the future. Obviously they're not just dropping a skate deck, they're doing sweatshirt, they're doing a polo, um, they're also doing a varsity jacket which I talked about earlier, so they're doing a lot of Gon's Ram stuff, and I feel like all this Gon's Ram stuff will have value in the future because obviously when he goes away, they obviously go up in value. That's just how it works really, but when getting into it, pretty cool skate deck I'd say. Obviously if you're buying this to skate it, that's pretty cool. I love seeing people skate their new decks, especially when it's something clean yet simple like this deck right here. So when getting into it, if you want to cop it to hang up in your wall or keep it as something like a collectible, that's also cool by me, but if you want to use it to skate, that's even better. So really when getting into it, pretty cool item I'd say that I could use to sum up this video. So. That's pretty much it. Anyways, though, thank you all for watching this video. It means a lot to you guys took your time to stop by and watch this. Obviously, if you're still watching now, that it just means the world to me. Thank you. And obviously, please subscribe if you're new for more content like this. It honestly means a lot because I work really hard on my content. I worked hard in this video to make it good quality for you all. I did a lot of research, so hopefully if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. And obviously, don't forget to drop a like, too. If you were 15 likes this video, that'd be amazing. Um, your guys' support's always amazing, so I really just can't thank you all enough for that. And obviously, drop a comment below saying anything you want to. Um, I really don't care what it is. Obviously, it's like hate or something. Remember what I told you a couple days back. Your hate just fuels me to make more videos and gives me motivation. So if you feel like hating on me in the comments, go ahead. It's actually helpful for me. But anyways, if it's like a funny joke, I don't care. Uh, that's something that you guys can do. But anyways, I just want to say thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the support. And really, I just want to say sum up this video with a big thank you. Thank you all for watching and peace.